Hello everybody, today I will test three 4 gig versions of GTX 960 to find out which one is better. All three of them are already high quality products that I can recommend, uh, but I will dig deeper to expose all of their strengths and weaknesses. I present to you Gigabyte WindForce X2 OC Edition, MSI Gaming 4G, and Asus Strix OC Edition. Out of the box performance difference is so small that it is not worth mentioning, and all of them operate near silent under heavy load. Let's begin with putting their coolers to the test. Gigabyte is sitting at 62 degrees with fans at 25% capacity and 860 RPM. Things get noisy only if you increase fan speed to 55% and more. Asus showed a good result despite being the smallest card out of these three. Core temperature was 61 degrees, fans were spinning at 41% capacity and 1350 RPM. Noise became noticeable when going beyond 65% fan speed. The coolest card is MSI, but that was to be expected given that it is the biggest card here. Core temperature was going up and down but highest was 60 degrees. Fans were changing speed between 20 and 30%, that is 6 to 700 RPM. Noise started bothering me beyond 70% mark. Now let's have a look at how well they overclock. But I must say that you shouldn't make a big deal out of comparing overclocks, because even the same two graphics cards will overclock differently. Memory on all three of these overclocked to exactly the same frequency of 7900 MHz. As for core clocks, Asus was at 1522 MHz. You can see the settings that I used on your screen now. MSI achieved 1532 MHz. And the best overclock goes to Gigabyte. 1560 MHz actual core clock. So what kind of conclusion can I make here? All three graphics cards have pretty much the same quality and performance even overclocked. This is what I think. If low temperature is at most importance to you, then MSI is the way to go. If you want a compact card that is also on the same level, then Asus is the one for you. But I personally think that Gigabyte is the golden middle in this case. Great overclock and enough power delivered via two 6-pin connectors. Also it is slightly cheaper here in the UK, at least right now. Prices do change from time to time, so check before you buy. I hope that this video helped you make your decision. If you are here for the first time, then do hit that subscribe button to get more awesome videos in the future. I'll see you in the next one, RG out.